word of God in Colossians 1.13 says, Who had delivered us from the power of darkness? The Lord must deliver you. He has to deliver you. You have to tell him, Lord God, I did not plan for these things. I did not bring these people in. Yes, I may have been negligent of some things. Yes, I may have been distracted. But Lord, please show us your mercy and deal with this situation. My God, ask the Lord, please give me that power to stand my ground and deliver my family. I can't watch my family being ruined. I can't watch all that we have spent our lifetime to build, to crumble just like that. All the things we have spent years invested upon to see that it is standing. Nobody will just come in and everything is destroyed. Lord, I cannot lose my husband. I cannot lose my wife. I cannot lose my children. The works of the enemy, the works of the devil, it must be destroyed. He said the enemies doing this, they did it when men slept. When men slept, you are going to pray and say, Father, open my eyes. Cause me to be awake. Cause me to be vigilant. Take slumber out of me. It was because I gave in to slumbering, because I gave in to distraction, then the enemy took advantage of it. Lord, I am awoken now. Lord, help me to stand my ground, to stand that watch, to take my rightful position in my family and deliver everyone who the power of darkness has been oppressing who the power of darkness has been doing everything to see that their life doesn't have a meaning and said, O fool of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? It is time you tell those things you must cease now. All those subtlety, all those mischief, what you are doing, seeking for sympathy, but you are coming in to destroy my home. I destroy you. You cannot remain here. You cannot stay in my life. You cannot remain with my family. You are taken away because the Lord is delivering each and every member of my family. You are going to pray. Now you are going to say, Lord, please help my family. Please help my loved ones. Please help everyone around me. The evil one has come around your home and it is visible, it is evidential with the things you are seeing. Things are not normal anymore. Things have not been the way it used to be. Lord, please come and change these things. Lord, please, I take my weapon of war and I combat the enemy because enough is enough for this challenge, because enough is enough for this trouble. We cannot afford to see this in our life anymore. We cannot afford to see everything that we have built over the years to break just like that. Lord, please show yourself and help me to be sober. Help me to be vigilant because I know that my adversary, the devil, is going about seeking who to devour in my home, in my life. But I resist the devil today. I take all the power from the Lord and I resist the devil because the devil cannot succeed in my life again. Those whom the God of this world have blinded in my home and made them to be doing evil, those who the God of this world have blinded and caused them to be doing things that they naturally wouldn't do, Lord, please deliver them and open their eyes through the glorious gospel. Lord, please work for my family, work for my life, work for my household and change everything and change everything that ought to change. Lord, I'm counting on you for the victory that my family needs. I'm counting on you for the victory that you seek in our home. Lord, please bring that deliverance. Bring that deliverance today and take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, stand your ground and everything that the enemy is doing in your family, in your life, the Lord will melt each and every one of them and they would go away. You will see them no more and every member of your family will be restored in the name of Jesus. The mighty hand of God will come through for you and you will see him bring a change, that needed change that you so desire in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is giving you victory and it will cause you to be watchful. It will cause you to be awake so it will not happen ever again. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have the victory. You have the victory over the evil one. You have the victory over the sons of the wicked. You have the victory 
in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil cannot succeed over your home again in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you have to realize that there is a battle. You have to realize that there is something the enemy is doing against your life and against your family. And you ought to take the victory. You ought to come to that point of being very alert. You ought to come to that point of being very aware so that you can combat and win against this enemy. This enemy that are planned to do evil against you. The word of God says the enemy has done this. Now there are some things you just discovered in your life and you are wondering how did this all start. You just discovered these things are troubling you. The word of God is reminding you, yes, it was done by the enemy. You know your child have never been that way. You know your husband do not act the way he is acting now. The enemy has done this. The enemy has planted a seed. He has planted his evil seed. And you need to rise and open your eyes and become vigilant. You need to come to that point of telling yourself, I cannot allow this to remain. He says, when men slept, the enemy came. While men slept, the enemy came. That moment you got distracted. That moment you stopped giving in to prayer. That moment you allowed so many things that are happening around you to suppress your consciousness of God. You discovered some things began in your life and you cannot explain it. Dear child of God, the enemy took advantage of those times and came to plant tears. That was why the word of God have warned us to be sober, to be vigilant, to be in awareness, to be watchful because our enemy, the roaring lion, it goes about seeking whom to devour, seeking where he wants to bring his destruction to, seeking those he wants to cause their life to be in ruin. But the enemy has failed. He has failed in your life. He has failed in your family. He has failed within your household. He cannot succeed anymore because the Lord is opening your eyes to see everything the wicked one is doing, to see that thing that he has planted, to see that thing he has done in your family that is causing the trouble. It says, but the tears are the children of the wicked one. There are some things that the enemy have sent into your life, that the enemy have sent into your family that you must do something about. He has done it out of mischief, but the Lord will give you victory. The Lord will expose every of the plot the enemy is doing in your life. The word of God said, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. You know, some people walked into your life. The devil orchestrated and planted some people around your home. And the moment they came into your life, you discover things started going wrong. The moment they came into your space, you discover things went upside down. Dear child of God, the enemy had brought them in. The enemy had planted them. They are the sons of the wicked one. But the Lord will expose them. And the Lord will take each and every one of them out. He will give you victory. And he will deliver you from all the evil of this present age. All the evil that the enemy has planned to destroy your home. To break your home apart. To crumble your life to destroy your children, to see that joy is not coming from your home again, the Lord will destroy it. The Lord will raise a standard against it and it will go a way you will not see it again. He will deliver you from the works of darkness. He has delivered you from the evil of this present age and all they are doing and he will not return again. In Jesus' name, the power of darkness will not be seen in your home again. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You are victorious forever. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.